thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding. These things happen, and we just have to work together to do that. A major point made was at the weather station in Chetwick, the pool rain in millimeters recorded on Saturday, from Friday night to Sunday morning was 128.5 millimeters. So who is eligible for DFA and what we cover is based on legislation. It's still seeping up right through the floor, just like that. The groundwater is, ground is so saturated that the water is seeping through the concrete any time there's, with any little crack there is. Kate come and said, Did, have you got water in your basement? And I said, I don't know, I haven't looked yet. So I went downstairs and sure enough, the sewer had backed up and I had like water laying all over, all over and it wouldn't go down, we could do nothing. So we had to leave it till they fixed it and it went down. Then the flood hit and the water was coming in all over from, we couldn't control it. It stinks and it's, it's down. You have to have the heat on to keep the upstairs dry. The whole house is down. Any further questions for uh, Environment Canada or Forecast Center? Yes, this is Paul and Chatwin. I have a question relating to the event two weeks ago and the declaration that perhaps it was a 100-year event. Um, I'm unclear as to who actually made that declaration and, and what, the, what the storm actually was classified as. Uh, we looked at a couple of stations in the Peace Country and looked at how much rain happened in that storm and my climatologist colleague ran that through our statistical methods to find out where it placed. And what it came up with is that that particular storm over a three-day period in some parts of the Peace Country was a one in 100 year event. Congratulations. Thank you, Leo. You yes. saved the town. Yeah, you saved the town.